Well, it's near the end of March here, and it's a snow day today at Hunt Club Nissan. We're going to be taking a look at the 2015 Nissan Pathfinder. This particular model is an SV 4x4. Uh, features include here that it is a 7-passenger, because all Pathfinders are 7-passenger. It has a rear backup camera, uh, remote keyless entry, uh, including in, with the intelligent keyless entry system, heated front seats, and a whole lot more. As always, we're going to take a quick look on the exterior of the vehicle, hop inside, show you a couple of quick features, and wrap up as to why you should make this Pathfinder yours. Starting right on the front right here, you got halogen headlights on the front of the vehicle. Nice big chrome bumper right there. It gives it a really elegant look. Um, one of the things is that this was the complete redesign. So this uh, removed the body on frame construction and went to the common platform uh, Pathfinder uh, for 2013. And this carried on uh, a great tradition still of being an off-road vehicle, but in the same sense, uh, still has a lot of new creature comforts that you wouldn't necessarily get on a truck-based platform. So fog lights at the bottom, you'll notice you've got a little uh, strip that comes around a little bit further below. That helps actually reduce wind noise here when you're driving down the highway. Moving on up right here, you've got 17 inch alloy wheels on the front and disc brakes all the way around. They are ventilated. Or, sorry, 18 inch, 18 inch alloy wheels. Heated outside mirrors, and again, the mirror caps are covered. Moving down here, you do have those nice chrome door handles. And then up top, you got a good set of roof rails. So you can actually get crossbars there. You can purchase them from our parts department or from wherever you like. Put up a Thule rack or get any sort of accessories that you want to put up top there, or snowboards and skis if you want to take more than just you and a few friends. Come around the back of the vehicle again. A couple of really nice things as well here too. First thing I'm gonna do is pop in quick. Show you something real cool. This Pathfinder actually has a remote trunk tailgate open and close. So benefits of that right there are going to be that uh, no matter what happens, when your arms are full or your hands are full, you're still going to be able to open up the tailgate here and put a lot of stuff in. Now you do get a fair amount of space in the back side of the vehicle here. And as you watch as I put down the third row quickly, which is super simple to do, you get even a ton more space. Down below here, you actually got an extra storage container. And in behind here is where you actually get to keep all of your tools and stuff like that. Your spare tire is actually undermounted. Rounding up the rear of the vehicle, you do have a 12 volt power plug as well. I'm just gonna pop these seats back up here too because I wanna show you something really cool when we get into the back seat of the vehicle. Just to give you a quick tour of the interior of the vehicle right here, just to start with. You can see right there how easy everything is to access. Lots of great buttons, lots of nice soft touch materials there and armrests. And Great look to the seat pans as well too. So this right here is your new intelligent key. You've got lock, unlock, the power trunk lift gate, and panic alarm. Rear of the key, there's a little switch right here so you can still access the key if you need to. So when you come up to the vehicle, you can still put it in this hole, save the battery step. But you don't ever have to. All you gotta do is push this little button right here, walk into the vehicle. Right on this side right here are all your uh, controls for windows and your mirror adjustment. Down below right here, you've got a heated steering wheel, the uh, power door on off switch there for the rear trunk uh, lifter, and then your traction control and your tow mode buttons there as well too. This vehicle is actually rated to tow to 5,000 pounds. So in addition to being a great family vehicle, it's also a great towing vehicle. So if you got the extra boat or small RV or something like that, you can still take the family along for a nice vacation. You don't have to take multiple cars. Coming up right here, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you've got all of your audio control and information system functions. And on the right side of the vehicle uh, steering wheel here, you've got all of your cruise control functions. Cruise control is pretty self-explanatory right here. Turn it on. And it's going to actually pop up a little message right at the bottom right there, letting you know what speed you're going. Hold up to uh, resume cruise. Hold down to actually set the cruise. And then right here, cancel. It'll have to tap lightly on the brake to turn it off, obviously. This side right here. Super easy. This little button right here is actually going to take care of transitioning through all of the menu screens here for your driver, uh, your driver information assistance menu. So things like your trip computer with your average fuel economy, your tire pressure monitor system, uh, your four x four system and your average fuel economy are all listed right there because we've been, uh, you know, letting this vehicle idle with the video here today. Plus with snow removal, sometimes uh, it can be a little bit higher, but you should be getting a decent fuel economy city and uh, highway right there with uh, approximately over between four to 600 liters uh, or kilometers per tank, depending on your driving capabilities. If not more, 
depending on how fuel efficient you drive. Down right here, Bluetooth controls are right here as well as your voice activated controls. So if I push this little guy, boop. Attempting to connect to your phone. Please it's wait. gonna try and hook up to my Bluetooth phone. Uh, if I don't have one set up, then it's gonna be real sad, but it'll actually prompt me through on how to set up the steps. So it's nice and easy that way. Source button right here is actually gonna transfer between my FM presets and then my XM presets. Uh oh, we don't have a subscription. Uh, you can transfer through to your auxiliary and then back to your AM presets as well too. Volume's pretty easy, but here's the cool thing. So this little guy sometimes works for this little screen, but when you're using the audio system, this will actually cycle through the presets that you actually have stored uh, in the memory bank. So you don't, again, have to take your hands off the steering wheel in order to be able to, to uh, go through and search for some different tunes. Over right here, you got automatic headlights, also known as fire and forget headlights right there. Fog lights turn on and off, but they are also your daytime running lights. So they will be on most of the time when the headlights aren't on. Wipes, pretty self-explanatory. You've got uh, airman wipers, miss mode, and then of course, uh, the rear wiper with sprayer as well. Now, uh, right here in your information system, just want to start off by showing you that nice giant back of camera. It's going to be super useful for when you're trying to get in and out of parking lots or anything like that. Uh, the other cool thing about it too is you can actually go into the settings right here and if you need to, you can actually adjust brightness and things like that for it. So you can, uh, in the contrast and things. So if it is a little too... Uh, is a little too bright or too dark or you want the camera to look a little different because you find it easier uh, in the place where you're going to be backing up most, you can adjust those controls right there. One of the cool things actually about this menu system here though, in a nutshell, what I really like is that you always have the audio information up top, you have the climate control information at the bottom, but say for instance you just want to be using uh, the audio information, you can have the audio information take over the entire screen. And if, uh, if you need to, with the climate control information, say you adjust the temperature, it'll pop up just quickly to let you know what you're changing your, uh, your fan speed or your temperature to. And then as well too, with the dual zone climate control right here, just push that little button, you can turn it off or you can turn it back on if you want to. You also get automatic climate control. So if you push that button on, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna choose where to blow the uh, heat. So uh, until it reaches the proper temperature. If you notice, we're now in what feels like a hurricane. So this vehicle warms up very quickly. In order to disengage automatic climate control, you really gotta do is just twist around the fan button right there. Heated seats for the front, makes it nice and easy, cook and simmer. And then of course, right down here, you actually have your overdrive uh, button. So if you wanna turn off overdrive, if you're towing uphill or something like that, or trying to brake in uh, downhill, that'll help make that a little bit easier. Right here, you've got your uh, intelligent four x four system with your hill descent control button. Now, what's nice about this little guy right here is you can lock it and up to 40 kilometers an hour, front and rear differentials will stay locked. You can turn it back off. And if you notice, right at the top information screen, it'll actually show you what system you're set to. Uh, and in the summertime, if you just wanna go with the old straight, uh, straight plain Jane front wheel drive, uh, you will be able to just put it into two wheel drive mode and have the vehicle drive down the road. Lastly, in the front of the vehicle right here, just to show you, you also get if it decides to focus inside instead of outside the car. Come on, little guy. There we are. Uh, you'll also get a uh, auto dimming rear view mirror with home link. So these little buttons right down below right here toot, 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 are all for your home link. So you can actually store up to three garage door uh, remote settings. And then there's actually these two little IO buttons right here, turn on and off your um, auto dimming rear view mirror. Now, if your future still gets too bright, you can always opt to put on a pair of shades, but uh, right up here. Then of course, all of your buttons for your interior lights. And then this right here, this little grill, we'll focus in on that. This little grill right here, boop, 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 actually is where your Bluetooth microphones are set in. So if you need to, shout at the heavens, you most certainly can, and people will hear you better. A lot of things people don't know about here. One of them is uh, the Pathfinder actually has a little storage spot for your license um, and insurance right up top over top the driver's vanity mirror, which has actually got a vanity mirror right here. And then it's actually got a little pull out on the side. So it actually comes in and hides this little space right here. I don't know how many of these um, little uh, flip down visors here can miss this little spot. And 99% of the time when you're driving between Ottawa and Toronto on the highway, that's the spot where the sun is and just blaring right into your eyes. Last spot right here, nice big glove box. It's actually got a little storage shelf right on the top for all of your extra uh, books and stuff like that. 
you can see right there and then down below you get a ton of space into the center console right here you actually get a power plug along with the two additional ones underneath the front dash a usb port and then traditional auxiliary ports in so you could actually hook up like a dvd player or say um, like an xbox console or something like that and you can actually play it through uh, this front information system when the vehicle's in park lastly it's got a little storage shelf as well too that pops down and it's actually got a little cable runner so you could actually put your iphone in here plug it into the usb port and keep it out of the way from prying eyes and uh, elbows and other potential disasters let's go check out the back of the vehicle 2015 they did a big redesign on key parts of the pathfinder right here one of them was including cup holders into the actual door sill of the armrest so one of the complaints was is that there wasn't really a cup holder space underneath in here and when you had to pull down the center armrest and access these cup holders it meant that kids could grab them knock stuff over out of the way or you couldn't have three people sitting across in this area right here which could be uncomfortable for families that say had two children and you wanted to sit in the center area so they actually put cup holders on the outside of the outside of the pathfinder right here you also have water bottle holders and extra storage down below now cool thing about these seats right here is um, there's actually a big arm uh, button right here on the shoulder and you actually can flip down the seats right here just like this so if you're wanting to just flip them down have them flat so you want to store stuff you can now one of the big problems with a lot of seven passenger vehicles is accessing that third row okay so here's what we're going to do i'm just going to pop down this window so you can see a little easier sorry got my hand in the way there so i'm going to take this right here i'm just going to lift up my hand and you'll notice the seat pan folds up as well too this whole area slides right forward and it's actually super easy to get in and get to that back seat area you've got a ton of space to be able to get in there now one of the other cool things though is is that if you're actually uh, have a child car seat or something like that and someone needs to get in there the the basin of the car seat can actually stay in in here and this will still move all the way forward regardless of how far even if this seat pan is stuck all the way down as i'm fighting with it here and if it's stuck all the way down and you want to move this seat forward which yeah, which you can you still get a decent amount of space to be able to access that third row one of the things a lot of people don't realize when they're looking for a seven passenger vehicle is is a lot of guys will leave that bottom seat pan and stuck in place or it'll fold in an awkward manner or you'll have to fold it up in an awkward manner almost like a two uh, two stage uh, in and out and this right here is just a one switch option which makes it your life so much simpler and that's the 2015 pathfinder in a nutshell i want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us here today we are always open at hunt club nissan 9 a.m to 9 p.m monday to friday 9 a.m to 5 p.m on saturdays and always open online at www.huntclubnissan.com my name is jason thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you on the next one